Hello, Valdosta. You ever heard of Sidney Johnson? Sidney Johnson was the black man that murdered the white plantation owner in Brooks County. Hampton Smith would work blacks on his plantation, pay their fines, and then after they paid the fine, he would keep them working on the place. And so one day, blacks, after years and years, got tired of it, and somebody murdered Mr. Hampton Smith. And as a result of that murder, 15 to 25 blacks were murdered by white mob members. And most of them had nothing to do with that untimely murder. And that murder was wrong. It was against the law. And the perpetrators or the person that committed that crime needed to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Mary Turner, Hayes Turner, didn't have nothing to do with it. But the man that did name was Sidney Johnson, according to my information. And Sidney Johnson was hiding out here on, over on the south side of town, over near Harrington Funeral Home. I was told by an elderly gentleman. Not that I read it in the book, but I could talk to an elderly gentleman. Sidney Johnson was a man who said he would not be taken alive. They thought he was in the woods, so they was searching the woods. The mob was searching the woods for Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson was hiding out right here in the city of Valdosta. And of course, uh, it was a black man that turned him in to law enforcement and the chief of police got his boys together. And <clears throat> they came to the little house that he was at. They shot the house up. And uh, not without, not before, the, I think the chief of police got shot and some more officers were shot. But he had already said, Senator Johnson, he would not be taken alive. They killed him. He shot some of them. They drug him out. Castrated him. Threw his body parts across the street, it is written. Tied him behind a pickup truck. Drug him all the way up to Marvin, to the old campground. I'm not gonna tell you what they did to him then, but I'm asking you to Google the May Return of Lynchings and the Week of Terror in May 1918. Just thought I would tell you because in the final analysis, my grandmother told me this history and other black people told their children this history. But now, we're not talking about it. And if we don't talk about what is happening today, our children will be forever deaf, dumb, and blind to the times and unable to make an intelligent decision based on truth because we ain't giving it to them. And don't expect your newspapers and don't expect your television stations and don't expect these radio stations, including the ones that we own, to tell the story. Only a person who loved God, only people who love Jesus, only people who love Jah and Jehovah and El Shaddai and Elohim will tell the truth of what's happening today and pass it on to their children because they knew what God said. God told the prophets in the days of old, do not remove the old landmarks. For sooner or later, if you come through this way, you will want to find your way home. And if you lose, if you lost and covered up all the hidden trails of the ancient. You'll never make it home, my friends. You just won't make it. And that is why the black people of this planet put their writings on stone in Africa. And all the paper may be gone, but they are still over there trying to decipher the codes that was left in stone. This is why we got to pass the stone on from mouth to ear, from mouth to ear, for the benefit, for the benefit of our children and coming generations. Don't let them feed you an unbalanced 
diet.